Hey y'all, hey. So I'm gonna jump right into this video. Um, anytime you're applying makeup, of course, or lashes, you always wanna start with a fresh face. Um, I had just removed lashes and makeup I had on earlier in the day. So I'm just gonna wash my face with this Cetaphil. Um, I believe it's the Daily Cleanser. So I'm just gonna take that and make sure I get my eyes real good and under my eyes and um, just mainly focusing on my eyes. So now that that's done and out the way, I'm just gonna pat my face dry with a paper towel. Um, I really don't use cloths or wash washcloths, towels when I dry my face. Uh, I like to use paper towels or tissue and also I'm going to take this witch hazel because I'm having a bad breakout as you guys will see um, once it gets closer you'll see all, I'm, I'm breaking all that but <laughs> I'm just putting witch hazel so here is a pair of lashes that I'm wearing I doubled a pair um, just to make them thicker that's my personal preference um, just some lash glue some scissors, tweezers, and um, like an eyebrow, brow, brush, and comb. I cannot talk. <laughs> the next step that I do, or that I like to do, is comb my lashes or brush them out. Make sure I don't have um, glue from the last lashes that I had um, inside my lashes. Because sometimes if you don't wash your lashes or scrub them, too good you'll still have glue in your lashes so I'm just making sure I got it all out of my lashes which I did I'm just gonna start by removing these lashes off of here like I said I doubled them um, so that they appeared thicker so I've already done that off camera and if you pay attention on the lashes you can see like a clear um, residue type of glue that they stick the lashes on the in the case and when you apply the lashes sometimes that shows so I just try and get as much of it as much of it off that I can So sometimes when you cut your lashes to size them, um, I've already done that off camera as well. When you size them to your eyelids, um, it's like a piece of plastic or the way the lashes are made, it will poke your eye. So I was just kind of trimming that off. The next step is to size the lashes to your eye. Um, like I said, I already cut them and I know how much to cut off the lash and everything, so I'm just putting it to my eye to see um, if I got it pretty close. Sometimes I can cut too much or too little, so that's all I'm doing here. Alright, now we get it somewhere. So take your lash glue, which this is just a dual lash adhesive. Um, the pink, I believe that's the color. Um, the blue, I believe, is the clear. I, I hate that one. So this one um, is the black glue. Um, it doesn't dry clear, of course, because it's black. And um, it makes your lashes and your eyes appear wider and the lash band um, it pretty much covers it up really good that's why I really like this glue sorry that this clip here is kind of long <clears throat> excuse me sorry that this clip is kind of long but I kind of want to go into detail of how I do it here so
So I forgot to mention when, when you add your glue to your lash band, you don't want to put too much or too little, too much. Um, when you apply the lash, it'll like kind of ooze and get kind of messy, which you'll kind of see. I always kind of do that because my lashes will tend to lift on the corners. So just be, be careful with that. Keep that in mind. So here's a trick that I've recently started doing was um, I add the glue to the back of my hand, as you guys will see, and um, the rest pretty much speaks for itself. Um, it's just a little trick that I learned or taught myself. Um, it keeps the corners from lifting on the lash. To me, they stick um, all week. Yes, I do wear my lashes all week. Um, I've never had a problem wearing them for a week. Um, it's all about how you wash your face and keep everything, um, I guess, sanitized. But I've never had a problem. Um, they stick. And doing this method, they don't lift. So um, I'm just adding that glue from straight from the package or the squeeze tube, whatever you want to call it. I'm just adding it to my lash line and kind of on my lashes as well. Um, it just helps the lashes adhere together um, and it's seamless like that and you won't really have a problem. Sit down, Papa. Now that I have that glue placed, I'm just going to fan that one side, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I'm just going to fan that one side, let the glue get a little tacky. Um, you don't need to really fan too long because I learned that the glue being on your eye and on your skin, it dries faster because of your body heat, of course. So you don't really have to wait too long um, compared to the waiting time that you would have to wait for the actual lash to get tacky and you'll know once it gets tacky because it'll turn kind of like a dark gray almost black color so looking down into my mirror um, I'm just gonna place that lash as close as I can get it to my lash line, um, I usually try and apply the front corner first. Um, I used to do the middle, but with this method, since everything is tacky, once you place it, you can't really move it. So just start with the corner first, as close as you can get it, and the middle, then the back side. Stop. Just take your tweezers and at this point you want to mesh and mix everything together. I'm kind of lifting the lash up, pushing it into the eyelid so that you can't see where the lash starts. That's all I'm doing in the front here and making sure the front is sticking. Once it sticks, it, it won't move um, all day. And I have really watery eyes for some reason. So it doesn't move. I guess because it's kind of like adhered to your lashes. So that's why I started doing this trick before. I would always have lifting at the front end, the back end of the lashes.
か<笑> Oh goodness Back to that one I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did to the other eye, to this eye. So I really don't need to ramble on. Um, maybe towards the end, um, I'll share some other tips if I have any. I think I think that was it though. But um, I just don't want to ramble and I don't want it to be too repetitive. But I'm just doing the same thing I did to the other eye. Alrighty, so here are the final results. Um, I typically add my makeup after I add my lashes. I know that's backwards, <laughs> but it works for me, so that's what I do. I just add um, liner, um, a little bit of a smoky eye, and that's pretty much it. Um, if any lash band is showing, um, I add liner, and that's really it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Here are a couple of pictures, and I'll check you guys out.